So Fubo TV and YouTube TV are two popular streaming services that offers live TV channels and on-demand content. Now both services allows users to access TV channels through their internet connection on various devices like smartphones, tablets, and your smart TV. So I've done full reviews on Fubo TV and YouTube TV, and I'll go ahead and link those in the description. But some recent changes, including the price increase for YouTube TV, makes this a good time to really jump in and compare the two services. So today, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of Fubo TV, YouTube TV. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. For both services, I'll leave links in the description if you wanna go ahead and sign up. Both of them are gonna offer a free trial. So let's jump right into the pricing and channel lineup. Now, Fubo TV offers several pricing plans that ranges from $74.99 to $94.99 a month. Now, the basic package includes over 100 channels with popular networks like ESPN, AMC, Fox, and NBC. However, with Fubo TV, it doesn't include some of those key channels that we just come to expect from our streaming services, uh, channels like TNT, CNN, and CBS is not gonna be available. Now, on the other hand, YouTube TV offers a single pricing plan and they recently raised it from $64.99 to $72.99 a month, which includes over 85 channels, including CNN, TNT, TBS, and AMC. It also offers premium networks like HBO and Showtime for additional costs. So a lot of these services are gonna have add-ons. Now over to the user interface, both Fubo TV and YouTube TV offer user-friendly interfaces and features like cloud DVR, multiple user profiles on a wide range of devices to stream on. However, YouTube TV's interface is more straightforward and easy to navigate, at least in my opinion. Um, I do love the layout of both of them, the thumbnail view that they have. And uh, with YouTube TV, you have that live preview when you hover over a channel. Now Fubo TV's interface is well-designed and intuitive as well. The service offers a live guide that shows what what's currently on, what's coming up, and what's available to watch on demand. It also allows users to create up to six user profiles and record up to 250 hours of content on their cloud DVR. However, Fubo TV has limitations on the amount of fast forwarding available, which can be frustrating for some users. So in comparison, YouTube TV's interface is more straightforward and easier to navigate. Like I said, YouTube TV is probably my favorite UI. The service offers a traditional channel grid guide that shows what's currently on and what's coming up next. It also allows users to create up to six profiles and offers unlimited DVR storage. Additionally, YouTube TV allows users to fast forward through recorded content without any restrictions. So if that's something that really irks you, that's a sticking point that you might wanna just verify what works best for you. Over to the cloud DVR, Fubo TV allows a thousand hours for DVR recording. Now keep in mind, you are gonna be restricted, so you can't always fast forward through your commercials. On the other hand, YouTube TV offers unlimited cloud DVR storage. Additionally, YouTube TV allow users to fast forward through their recorded content without any restrictions, while Fubo TV has limitations on the amount of fast forwarding available. Sports and local channels. Now Fubo TV is known for a sports offering. We all know that Fubo is sports heavy. So sports offering, this includes NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, and NCAA games. It also offers regional sports networks like NBC Sports and Fox Sports, making it a great choice if you're big into sports. So if you're sports heavy, Fubo TV is probably gonna work for you. Now YouTube TV also offers a robust selection of sports channels, so including ESPN, Fox, NBC. However, it does not offer as many regional sports network as Fubo TV. As far as the local channels, both services offers local broadcast network like ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC. However, the availability of local channels varies by your location. So when you go to their website, put in your location, then you can kind of see what's available to you. Now, as far as your supported devices, both YouTube TV and Fubo offers a wide range of devices to stream on. So this includes smartphones, tablets, laptops, as well as smart TVs. However, there are some differences in the supported devices. Fubo supports more devices than YouTube TV, so including the Fire Stick, Apple TV, Roku, and your Chromecast. However, YouTube TV is available on more smart TVs than Fubo. And just with my experience, for the most part, both of these are gonna work on your device unless you have something that's just really um, out there. So I haven't had any issues. I own most of the devices. I own Apple devices, Android devices, smart TVs, Roku's, and I never had a compatibility issue with any of these. So 
something you want to keep in mind. Now over to the video quality, uh, both Fubo TV and YouTube TV offer high quality video streaming with the option to stream in 1080p and 4K resolution for certain content. However, the actual video quality may vary depending on user's internet connection and device capabilities. My experience is most of the live broadcast is either gonna be in 720p or 1080p, 2.1 stereo, that's gonna be standard. But as we go on, you'll see that some 4K is going to be available. So Football TV claims to offer superior video quality compared to the streaming services, including YouTube TV. The service uses advanced video compression technology to deliver high quality video streams, even on slower internet connection. Football also offer 4K streaming for select events and channels, although it requires compatible devices um, and internet connection. Given there, if you don't have a 4K television or 4K streaming box, you're not going to be able to stream 4K. That's just the, the, the basic of it. So if you're device compatible, you're gonna have some options there. So YouTube TV also offers high quality video streaming with the option to stream 1080p and 4K resolution for select content. Service uses adaptive streaming technology to adjust the video quality based on the user's internet connection and device capability. Additionally, YouTube TV allow users to adjust the video quality manually in the settings, which can help to improve the overall experience. So I've played with this a lot. I'm on YouTube YouTube TV and I'm looking like, okay, this looks kind of not HD. So there's a gears icon, just like you would have on your YouTube videos where you can go in, you can hit it and then you can select the video quality. Customer support. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So both YouTube TV and Fubo offers customer service through phone, email, and live chat. However, Fubo's customer support is available 24 seven while the YouTube TV customer support is only available during specific hours. So I'm a YouTuber and I know that sometimes when you try to get through to someone from YouTube, it's almost like you're treated as a number because they're so large. So um, it's really hard to get a hold of someone on the phone or whatever the case is. They try to use chat a lot, but sometimes it just seems like those guys are using the script. So customer service could be better. So in conclusion, both YouTube TV and Fubo are excellent options for core cutters that's looking to access live television and on-demand content. As far as the pricing, the price is gonna be a little bit higher than we like. I know that when we cut the cord a couple years ago, we started using that term. These streaming services were in the mid 40s and that was manageable but it seems like every year they're jumping up another ten dollars and now we're all the way at 74 dollars and they're expecting this to be the norm now having said that it's still going to be cheaper <laughs> than if you were to get cable or satellite so that's something to consider as well so football tv is going to be a great option for sports fans so who wants to access their regional sports it's an excellent choice for users who want a straightforward interface broader selection of channels, including local and premium channels, and also unlimited uh, DVR. So ultimately, again, it comes down to your personal preference. And like I said, with YouTube raising the price, they're right there, a dollar difference. So really, it's not about the money anymore. It's about what you like, what works best for you. So in the comments, let me know which service uh, you like better, you lean in towards. Links for both will be in the description. Both have a free trial. Uh, you can always try them out. If you don't like them, you can cancel before your charge. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell, and I'll catch you on the next one.